Okay, so it's been like a month since I was out here and I'm getting back into it. I've been on the road for a long time and not riding big jumps, so it feels really good. Let's get back into this. Everything's running so good. Out here getting shots with Scott. Yeah, so. Is that the last one? This is the last one. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, sweet. Well, that was an awesome morning session. Scott and I shot together for the very first time. It was really fun. And then I rode jumps for the first time in a couple weeks. So that was really cool too. Getting back into it, feeling really good, really good on the bike. And now we're gonna get to building this afternoon. Chris is on his way right now. I just picked up these two by sixes. Some nice cedar pressure treated wood. It's uh, typically used for decking, but this stuff is awesome for jumps. So I'm gonna use it to reinforce the curve of the big ramp because the original curve is just a little too flimsy. I used really thin plywood just to get the shape figured out, but it's not gonna hold up in the long term. So that's what we gotta do. And the goal for the day is to get the big ramp in and finished and the run in finished for it. It's gonna be a long day. We're probably gonna be out here till dark, but I'm really excited to get this part of the jump done. So yeah, let's get in there. I got, I got a couple tools to carry in. I picked up a fresh shovel today and rake. And then I gotta get all this wood in there. It's gonna be a couple trips. <coughs> yeah, pretty excited. I love it. Oh, man. Well, we got the jump set where it will kind of be. And now Chris is sketching out the, uh, oh my God, maybe this will work. <laughs> <laughs> a little bigger than it looked like it was gonna be, but. It'll be fun. Okay. So, we're looking at it from the side, bud. Basically, we're gonna have you a case pad at the top i think what we'll do is build two saddles and uprights yeah basically a platform and then we'll run a stringer down off of it and then we'll put all your rounds and you can dirt yeah cap it. yeah this is going to kind of be once we put it in place that'll be it it'll be solid but we'll still be able to move this on those uh okay logs down there back and forth does that make sense yeah because you definitely you want a flat area right yeah, like at least a couple feet. Because that right, one, just so there's nice. That one Jordy had, he had like this, right? But he had uh, stringers that had a bit of a curve at the end of them. Yeah, they they found some big curvy trees for yeah. the end. Yeah, if we might be able to find it, but I doubt it. Or so, you can always, you can kind of shape with dirt too. It can be pretty yeah. square as a skeleton, then just yeah. And then just top yeah. Well, I was saying you wanted me to build one big jump. We gotta take a picture of this from today. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I think Paul. like, yeah. You might have fly before, right? Yeah, yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> Looking at it from the side, it looks like it looks like you're gonna land on this little stump, like right yeah, here. So I think, like you said, we'll basically start the case pad in that stump area. Yeah. And then drop steep down from there. Sometimes when the room I say something Held in the phone Oh, I didn't Oh, we got the lip in today? I don't think Chris is up for it, but <laughs> Pretty excited We got the landing tomorrow Things are happening Pumped Well, that was an awesome day we got the lip in, we got it all framed up. It just needs the proper spikes now and the finishing touches, like the little bit of dirt left on the run in and the slats going up it. And that's gonna be done. I'm really excited. It looks so much better than I thought it would even. It's just like the curve is perfect. The spacing's nice. It's not too tight. It's nice and open. The landing's gonna be huge and it's actually gonna be way less work than I originally thought because the natural slope has so much dirt we can mine from it and then we're going to be framing logs on top of that and then we can take a lot of dirt and throw it on top of the logs just to give it a nice build like it's going to be a hollow landing to save us a lot of work and i'm going to use some cloth to prevent it from rotting so hopefully i get like five solid years out of that landing before it really starts to deteriorate a little bit so that's going to be great 
Having Chris out there today was awesome too. He's just like such a wizard when it comes to woodwork. I mean, I can run a chainsaw, but nothing like what he can do. And having him do all the saw work today while I just focused on moving dirt was amazing. We got it done really, really fast. And that went 10 times quicker than it would have if it was just me on my own. So I'm really grateful to have him as a friend and have him coming out there. And knowing that like he's not even gonna hit this stuff but he just loves it and he wants to be a part of it so I'm just really lucky to have him in my circle and help out yeah so having Chris around is awesome tomorrow we're going back in there and the plan is to finish that landing and that's gonna be the last job it's gonna be ending from there and I can't wait just to reap the benefits of all my hard work on this line and move on to the next project thanks for staying tuned and I appreciate everyone who watches these and enjoys them more to come <laughs>